so welcome physics student so welcome to physics by arin i am arin mehra if you know if you don't know me uh, i have basically i am also a physics student just like you and i am very much happy today that i am able to organize this session to be honest that 5 years ago my biggest dream was also to become a government officer become a, taking up a job in a government now it is not my my, my main agenda but yes 5 years ago the as a physics student i had an idea that how can i become a officer because sometimes doing a phd is we think is a long time career but we also want to remain in a physics we don't want to leave physics for just for the purpose of the job we we want to stay in the physics and also we want a respectable position that the position which our society respects the position which gives us a good salary the position which can help our family conditions so then i realized then there was one exam which is barc ocs which i came to know so there are basically two exams for this purpose one is barc bark baba atomic research center and another one is upsc geophysics in upsc geophysics i personally have given the exam i have qualified pre and mains but i couldn't qualify interview but i reached till the interview stage in upsc and another one is barc stage so today i will discuss every complete steps like okay what are what is this exam all about and how i can help you in qualifying this examination and today basically i am looking and i am going to start a officers batch officially basically this is a batch which is just to produce the officers so that we have a good strong batch of officers next year which is joining the field which is joining the which are becoming the scientific officers and today is the beginning of that journey i am very glad and and that this basically this project was a my part of plan from a long year long ago and today i am able to execute it and i hope you will be benefited from it and you will learn many new things in this session okay so let me just begin with this so now our goal is very clear that we want level 10 job basically let me explain this what is this level 10 thing so in government of india there are different levels and any graduate so let's say you have a bsc or msc degree any graduate or any post graduate can join government of india at maximum level 10 you cannot join more than level 10 yes if you have phd and you want to join as an assistant professor then you join at level 13 in government of india only there are only till i think 16 levels 16 or 17 levels there are and everyone joins at a level 10 every top people for example ias officers ips officers ifs officers all of them joins at a level 10 government and government gives an entry to the institutions or the government jobs at highest at the level 10 so that is our goal we want to join government section sector in the highest level at the level 10 and we will be the gazetted officers like we, we we are whatever happens with us has to be published in the gazet which is published by government of india so we are a very important people of government of india and especially in the scientific field so that is our aim that in next one or 1.5 years we want to get such job and it is a group a job and again i want to explain something about this group a group a there are different different groups in government of india job group a group b group c highest one is group a and then you have b c d so we are we are planning to join at the highest position in government of india and that also from the physics back not leaving the physics behind and the i'm before i begin the session i want to tell you the road is very narrow the road is very narrow if you are on this side of the road and you might think that okay yaar uh, this this looks difficult should i should i even try it? and today i will just show you that how thin is this road and what you have to do to cross this out and become the officer that you want okay and i believe i do not say that becoming this officer is very easy no it is not at all easy it is as difficult as becoming an ias officer becoming an ifs officer but this is very fruitful this is very very fruitful you are secured for your life your family is secured for lifetime and you are you will get to do physics for rest of your life without thinking about money without thinking about the social security without thinking about the respect and all of those things 
so yes of course the things will be difficult but how difficult and what exactly has to be done clear and all of this will is from my own experience nothing here is like from taken from the google or something like that everything is from the experience based so we have two options there are more there are few more options but there are two standard options which opens every year the vacancies in this came every year and there are two options number one is barc ocs bark become a scientist in bark and another is upsc geophysics so basically i will target these two and uh, i will explain you about this so first we will begin with barc ocs baba atomic research center ocs is the name of the examination okay. so if you get why to give this exam if you if you qualify this examination and what is the state we will discuss but if you qualify this examination you will be a scientific officer okay and again as i mentioned you will have a permanent central government job in the level 10 group a okay this is a highest government position you can get after your msc degree you cannot get higher position than this at least in government of india salary wise the very beginning salary of your uh, career will be 1 to 1.25 lakhs from the very first year and it keeps on increasing the bonuses keeps on adding up pris or bonus oris bonus there are many bonuses which will be getting added from the second year but from the very first year your salary will be between 1 lakh to 1.25 lakh per month theek okay? hai once you are selected in this for the very first year you have to do training means uh, first year is not your joining period first year is like your training period as you know the is ips ips officers goes to the labazna so similarly you also have to do the training and then that training you will be given the field training and the proper bookish knowledge which is required for that uh, for that job you will be taught how to conduct as a scientist what is the training required what are the equipments you will be and that training itself is a very very uh, you can say very learning experience because that is more than a college can teach you that is the real physics that you are going to do after the job theek okay? hai so that one year is going to be your training and this is for both in uplc also you will have the training and in the barc also you will have the training ठीक है ड्यूरिंग द ट्रेनिंग पीरियड इन बीआरसी यू विल ओनली गेट 55000 पर मंथ बिकॉज़ इट्स अ ट्रेनिंग यू आर नॉट जॉइनिंग एज अ जॉब राइट नाउ इन यूपीएससी यू विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग द फुल सैलरी इन यूपीएससी यू विल गेट फुल सैलरी बट इन बीआरसी यू विल गेट 55000 फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर व्हाइल योर ट्रेनिंग इज गोइंग ऑन एंड वंस यू जॉइन एज अ जॉब योर सैलरी विल बिकम 1 टू 1.25 लाख एज पर द गवर्नमेंट जॉब सैलरी व्हाटएवर इज देयर फॉर एंटायर इंडिया क्लियर now when you join barc you will get to do the research in nuclear physics particle physics condensed matter physics atomic physics quant all of these branches are the part of barc barc does not only means nuclear and particle physics barc also contains the physics of other branches as well so it is you get to choose many projects and you are involved in many different branches of physics so it is overall a good experience and uh, officers are basically directly doing the research projects in the government of india means you are you are handling the projects of government of india it's not like you are doing the research for private purposes it is completely government of india projects which you will be doing you will be collaborating with isro you will be collaborating with drdo you will be collaborating with all the iits you will be collaborating with isers you will be collaborating with iisc so the huge collaborations are there okay and that all collaborations will be keep on going on during your career clear so officers are you know as government officers you get all kind of allowances like hra da ta medical kids education telephone bill uh, all of these is basically involved there okay so these all kind of situations are there so this is why you should give this exam if this excites you okay no i want my career to be fixed right now i want my stability in my career and i want to do research like this then that is why you should give this exam what are the stages of this exam and there are two stages of this exam for barc exam number one is a written test now there are two written test you have two chances so written test is to get promoted for the interview means you will be qualified for an interview so first stage is written and then is interview 
so in written test somehow you have to go for interview how you can get selected for an interview there are two ways number one is gate examination gate physics so one option is that you get give the gate physics examination and gate physics examination happens in february so in the feb month gate physics exam will happen so you have roughly from now 5 to 6 months so after your 5 to 6 months your gate examination will be there you give the gate examination and you have to be in the top ranks top ranks means under 70 rank all india rank 70 means 700 scores this is not marks this is score so gate also gives some scoring and that scoring has to be almost 700 or you can say 55 to 60 marks out of 100 that's all almost 55 to 60% of marks are required in gate and this is not easy don't think that this is easy that is why you get under 70 rank for this much marks but if your target is very fixed ki okay i want to do this then it is easy okay so then you can directly will be avail you will be uh, you can say will be eligible for the interview if you do good rank in gate then you are directly eligible for the interview nothing no problem then the next thing that you will be doing is giving an interview but bark also understands that getting this much rank or this is very unpredictable so bark also conducts its own exam so bark will also conducts his own exam so let's say you are somehow you are not able to uh, qualify this examination or you can say you you did you qualified the gate but you could not get that good rank so you will get another chance and that chance is barc ocs written test so bark will conduct their own examination and that examination will happen in march or april so end of the march or the starting of the april okay so you will get another you can say one month or 1.9 50 days to prepare 30 to 50 days to prepare after your gate examination so let's say your gate examination went well but your rank is not that good so you can give gsc examination and uh, it will happen in march end or in the april beginning now there this exam i will discuss how, how this exam is asked but this exam is basically on the easier side means this is the question level of this exam is easy as you can clearly see there will be 100 questions in this exam there will be 100 questions not one or not two there are 100 questions and for each question there are only three marks or not only it's large marks three marks are there and if you do any question wrong you will be minus one minus one marks you will get so total marks that you will get through this examination is basically 300 so you get 300 total 300 marks 100 into 3 300 and you only get two hours that is a main main idea and that is what we are going to practice along with throughout this how to solve 100 questions in 2 hours which means almost 1 minute for each question almost almost 1 minute for each question and the level of questions is very easy like it's not like you have to do long calculations you just have to do right wrong right wrong and you just have to use the simple formulas graphs formulas equations postulates statements these kind of questions will be there and you will get many many assignments for this that where you will actually see how will the questions be coming up so the entire purpose will be to prepare for such kind of environment in which you have to solve 100 questions in 2 hours and all of these questions are mcq so but the good thing is that you only need 150 to 160 marks out of 300 to qualify so let's say you get only 50 50% marks half of the questions correct Uh, then there is very good chance that you will get a chance to get into okay so that is a little bit easier okay so that at least you can reach the interview stage the syllabus of this is never mentioned they never mention the syllabus of brc exam they do not give you the previous year questions brc is only brc is one uh, organization which do not release the previous year questions they do not want you to see that what kind of questions they are asking they do not want you to see what kind of syllabus they are asking but from my experience and from many other people's experience we all know that syllabus of brc is same as gate exam there is nothing in brc this which was not there in gate so whatever is there in the gate examination is same in the brc so if you are preparing for gate you are already prepared for brc okay so you don't have to do any extra syllabus as such to prepare for bsc except for the practice that how will you solve 100 questions in 2 hours 
that's all and that is very fun because once you get involved into it you you will be actually start enjoying that process so but the syllabus is roughly there are nine subjects which you have to study which is mathematical physics classical mechanics electromagnetism electronics waves oscillation and optics quantum mechanics thermodynamics and statmec atomic and nuclear physics solid state and nuclear and particle and these are 10 subjects so there are basically 10 subjects which you have to study and you don't have to be you should, it's not like csa or net where you are studying but the question level is coming beyond the reach for example when you do the um, net exam when you give the just exam when you give the ti for exam you re, you see that okay the question level is very difficult even though you have studied the subject you are not able to solve the questions but in this that does not happens if you have studied the subject the questions will be formula based so the only challenge here is to study the entire 10 subjects and remember that memorize that or you can say i not memorization is a wrong word but i would say that should be in your mind all the time having a good and proper revision of those 10 subjects and then you go to the exam then the exam is very straight for it's not like csn net where you go in an exam and the question level is very different okay so that is the pros and cons of this subject means you have to have a knowledge of all the formulas but that's all nothing beyond that theek hai so 10 subjects so let's say luckily we qualified the written test either we get through the gate or we get through the bar we had the two options from one of the options we qualified and we are eligible for the interview now whatever marks you have scored in the written that are not counted those are not important you are you are scoring 200 marks or you are scoring 150 brc does not matter it does not matters to brc only thing that matters to brc is interview so the complete selection will be based on interview many people thinks that okay oh uh, and that is the narrow line that is where luck comes down to what if that day is not good one day will decide will you get the job or not because the exam marks will not help you only thing that will help you is interview and most of the time in many years and that was the biggest challenge that i had how to make students prepare for interview there are uh, 20 coaching institutes which which are there which can give you the lectures and you can prepare for written test but from the last one month we are we are thinking that how the student can prepare for interview and it involves many problems you you I, i just want to mention and maybe that is one of the problem with you all as well number one not everyone has a good basics not everyone has done a very good studies in class 11th and 12th and i am saying here not everyone even knows what is dot product what is cross product in a very good way okay that is the number one problem number two problem even though their class 11th 12th was good their bsc was not that good because Many, very few colleges have a good BSc education. Very, very few. Most of the colleges have a bad BSc education. And after that bad BSc education, in one year, how to recover all of that and make the basics very good? That is the biggest challenge. Second challenge, and number third challenge. Even though these two things are good, means you are able to compensate for that. The confidence issue is there. The most of the students have never given an interview before. they do not know how they will react inside that room maybe they are they are very good with the concepts but what kind of reaction will come out so basically we have planned for that we i will let you know but i am just telling you these are the challenges for you you have to react in a very good way you have to have a very good concepts knowledge and you have to have a very good content inside you so that you can handle any uncertain questions the questions which are new for you you have never seen those questions how do you react for this how is your wiring of the brain works and gives a proper answer which is not correct but at least a is a is a proper answer which is explaining the physics that is very important okay so every the entire selection will be based on interview so if they likes the person if they likes the physics of a person they will select that person otherwise that person will not be selected no no kind of uh, you can say ved bhav is there so everyone is treated with the equal eyes so interview day is very important okay so it has to be prepared from very beginning 
for brc that is a one of the biggest mistake everyone do they think that interview can be done in the end group period yes for some people they can do in the last two months but not everyone can do in last two months the reason being because uh, for example i have i was lucky enough to do my masters from iit delhi so my confidence is good i had an opportunity in my bsc to st study the good books but that opportunity was not there for everyone right so uh, yes in general that interview has to be prepared from the very beginning so that we can make sure that okay this person will be selected in the interview right okay so interviews are usually conducted in the may end so in the may end your interviews will be there so next year may end will be the interviews so interviews are tough and obviously they are tough they they ask you anything and they they expect you to be a very good in basics they give you the choice they will give you okay, okay choose any three subjects you want and then they will drill you on those three subjects. they will not ask you something which you have never studied they will ask you first what is your favorite topic and then they will try to check your basics of that okay now after this uh, hard work there will be 25 to 30 officers which are selected every year so roughly you can say 30000 people applies for that 30000 i am not lying in brc examination almost 35 student thousand people gave the exam when i gave the exam and uh, out of those only 30 25 to 30 people will be selected in the end but no con no competition is stopping you you just have to perform yourself that's all you have to score 50 60 percent marks in written and then you have to give a good interview and that's all so this this is the result so you are if you achieve this that is a big achievement like getting into 25 to 30 officers is not a very small thing and that is a basically a dream of many physics students to be there so that was about the first exam and that was your basically park ocs now i want to come to the second examination which is basically upsc geophysics now about this examination i came to know about much later because most of the people don't know about this examination and i think uh, this is a good exam and it is conducted by ups union public service commission upsc conducts many exams but we know that we are UPSC is famous for IS, IPS, civil services examinations, but it conducts many other exams as well. One of them is geophysics. If you look at the calendar of the UPSC, every year you will see a geoscientist exam written there. Now, where do you get the job? Government of India has Geological Survey of India, GSI, which is India's one of the oldest institution. Oldest. It is like 1800 something it was there more than i think one close to 150 years it is about to reach it is even older than iisc and it was even started by the britishers itself so one of the because india was is so rich in uh, nutrients or so rich in minerals rocks so much is hidden inside the earth geophysics basically means studying earth so much is hidden inside the earth or the surface of india that Geological Survey of India was started so long ago and still it is running and serving the nation. So it is again a central government job and it is much more government job. In BRC, some days you don't feel like you are in a government job. Some days, not every day, but some days. Because it's a one institution handling separately and BRC is in Mumbai. But you in UPSC, geophysics, you will have a proper feeling that you are in a government job. And why I'm saying that? Because after a few years, you will be working in a ministry. Many geoscientists, after a few years of service, means after 10 or 15 years of service, they, they go to the ministry. They handle the ministry work. And the, the dynamic of a job is such that a few years you have to serve in one state, few years you have to serve in some other state. And then you also get to serve in the ministry if you are a good officer, right? And so the, there is a wide range of possibilities which are there in this job. And the collaborations are there. You have to go for field trips. Um, basically, this is an experimental thing as well. You have to go and do collect the data. And then you have to do the research on that data. So when you have to collect the data, you have to go for the field trip. And what kind of field trip? All kinds of field trip that you can... Uh, imagine for example in uttarkashi you know the lands are basically breaking down 
because of the over construction. So geo scientists go there as well. They go to the Uttarkashi. They go to the lands. They go to the volcanic uh, volcanic spots. They go to the earthquake spots. All kind of uh, natural hazards or whatever you can say is naturally rich areas. You have to go there. Geo scientist uh, or geological survey of India works on the three pillars: chemistry. chemical sciences geology and geophysics you are joining here from geophysics point of view so you will be basically experimentalist of this institution and uh, means you have to do a lot of field trip as well and field trip is obviously you will go in a government uh, facilities you will get more payment for field trip rather than your job you get an extra payment of almost 1000 or 2000 rupees per day so that is also one of the very uh, lucrative people people basically opt to go for the field trips because it is beneficial and it is also a good kind of you can say is a experience for your life as well so if you want such experiences then this kind of job can help you okay and uh, again this is again the highest uh, everything is same level 10 group a all of that is same uh, the salary structure is almost similar uh, the leaves and all of that is all, all same saturday sunday is off and then you have uh, a lot of national holidays as well uh, casual leaves sick leaves and all of these kind of leaves which you know is government uh, servant gets is you will also get okay so gsi basically conducts research in mineral exploration you have to explore the minerals uh, from the earth earthquakes survey of the materials the materials which you extract from the earth uh, their age radioactive carbon dating you know carbon dating or the age of the plants or all of these kind of things uh, you have to do gravity and electromagnetic survey how is your gravity varying in in india how is what are electromagnetic signals and all of that once we will you will study this labels you will get to know more about it uh, right now you might not have that good idea about all of these things but some people enjoy it some people enjoy that because it's a practical thing it's not like that uh, you are sitting down and you are sitting in a room and you are thinking okay what if the earth is a complete sphere and then what will happen if the planet is trying to hit us then how much time it will take for planet to hit us so this kind of work is not there the actual work is there he okay if the gravity changes by roughly 0.3% then how is it affecting the tectonic movements and how it can affect us and how it you have to predict about the earthquakes and all of that so the all of that it's a practical work basically you can say it's engineering for a physics student okay so that's and where your expertise will be used okay and there is a proper hierarchy in the system so you don't have to be go there and become a hero or you will be many seniors to help you out so it's a proper hierarchy there you have to follow that hierarchy of the government system otherwise yeah you know the consequences so it is like slow process but you will have many ups and downs in the career it's a dynamic career right number of uh, vacancies is the biggest problem in this for example uh, i have seen in last 3 years vacancies are from 3 to 50 one year it was 50 one year it was 22 one year it was 3 one year it was 5 so any number of vacancies are coming uh, so number of vacancies is a very big challenge for this and we will talk about this that how this number of vacancies is a big problem but more or less i have realized ki no people are not giving this exam and that is one of the biggest advantage when i go, went to give my prelims exam almost the entire center was empty in the room only four or five people were giving the exam so you can expect only 2000 people will be giving this exam roughly my applications will be more but only 2000 will be there who will be giving the exam and if you prepare you will be one of the hundreds only who gave this exam seriously so i can give you in guarantee that no more than 150 people are there in india who will give this exam seriously but the competition wise who will be still same yes if the number of vacancies are 50 then you might feel that okay 500 students gave this exam seriously because the syllabus of this exam is so big that no one gets a time to prepare for this exam and if you find out the time to prepare for this exam and i will i'm going to give you the full plan how to prepare then even if one vacancy came you can qualify i'm not trying to motivate you to give this exam but i'm very much telling you in beforehand 
the exam if if the more vacancies comes then there will be 500 people who will be very serious about this exam you can say and if there are three three vacancies then there will be only 30 people who will be very serious about this exam so the all, always the competition is one in 10 seriousness but no one gets enough time to prepare for this exam and that i can tell you from my very personal experience when i was in the interview hall in upsc i almost talked to 20 people because all of them were came came there for interviews for no one it was a first choice everyone gave this exam just essay everyone was in the interview i also gave this exam when i was in msc i was handling iit delhi i was handling all my competitive exams i was handling physics by rn i was handling everything else and then i prepared for this exam and i qualified till the interview stage so uh, you can guess that not many people are giving this exam or serious about this exam very rarely you find someone who is serious about this exam. very rarely so that is that is something that can go in your advantage and if you want job given to you by upsc then uh, i mean you can guess then yes you have to the, it's a narrow road and let's expect that this year vacancies can be at least 20 25 that will be good for us but let's see okay so let me explain the what you have to study and it's huge huge i mean uh, what you have to study for upsc is huge okay let's see stage 1 prelims so it happens in the same way prelims mains interview just like upsc ias ips you will be having a three stage exam prelims mains interview you will be going to the same upsc bhavan where everyone goes for their interview you will be dressed up in a suit boot and then you will be sitting in front of an ias officer because your interviewer will be ias officer not a scientist scientist will also be there but the main interviewer will be your ias officer and he will be checking your or he or she will be checking your personality so they will be checking your personality and you will be giving an interview in front of an ias officer by giving an answers any answers could be there any questions i will exp i will someday i will even uh, discuss with you my own interview experience uh, which was very funny by the way but yes i got more than average marks but not that good marks okay i i scored less in interview okay because uh, i i will let you know i will explain the entire thing which happened in the interview okay so the first stage is prelims exam and which will happen in february so the, the dates are already announced so 9 february is the prelims exam roughly the same 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 time uh, your gate exam is also there so gate and uh, prelims usually happens hand on hand so they happens together almost few days of gap is there in the prelims exam you will have two exams one in the morning and one in the afternoon okay morning exam is general aptitude or you can say general knowledge it is 100 marks only 100 marks and the second paper is geophysics now geophysics when i say that geophysics means both physics and geophysics the interesting fact is that in geophysics 60% is physics and only 40 is geo. So most of the syllabus is physics only. So this, uh, so what happens is most of your competition fails here because the main competition that you have is the students who have done masters from geophysics. Now they, they fail to qualify this exam because most of the syllabus is from geophysics. Yeah. If they have studied, obviously they will qualify. But in the prelims exam, physics students are give, are basically in benefit. They are in advantage and I will show you the syllabus and then you will know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, so two papers in the morning, one in morning, one in the afternoon. So total 400 marks, 100 plus 300, 400 marks. And all of these marks will be counted for final selection. All of these marks, even these 400 marks are used for your final selection. Okay. And each paper will have 120 questions. This will also have 120 questions and this will also have 120 questions. But the difference is that in this one question carries more marks, but in this question, in this one question carries less marks, even less than one mark. Okay. Each paper is of two hours. So you will get two hours means one minute for each question, 120 minutes, 120 questions. Okay. So that is what you have in an examination. Okay. Now let's talk about the syllabus. And this actually basically where our team worked on and that is the basic ideas and that ideas you will not get anywhere else. In the general general knowledge, 
you have all the sort of subjects you have basic physics basic chemistry political science history geography environment and ecology biology current affairs all that upsc syllabus is there even if you read the syllabus the upsc prelim syllabus and this exam prelim syllabus is same but the nature of the paper is very different you will see that there are almost 22 questions just from the basic physics for example who discovered radioactivity and uh, the, even the numerical questions are there in the general aptitude part although it's a general knowledge but they do not ask the general knowledge very very difficult he, okay when was the, this war happened and when was this happened yes those questions are also there but very few you almost get 22 questions from basic physics which any student can solve if they have a very basic awareness about the physics you don't need to remember scientist name you just need to know the effects okay who can who can cause light to split into seven colors prism yes option is prism second will be water yeah maybe water can also so which of them cannot use to split into seven colors so one of them will be red colored filter so you know from red colored filter only red light will come out so yes it's a it's a wrong option so these kind of questions will be there. Simple numerical questions, classical mechanics question. What is the formula for movement of inertia and all of those things. I will show you the paper solves. So basic physics question almost 20 to 25 are there. Then you have basic chemistry. You don't know about basic chemistry. But I will tell you what to study in basic chemistry so that you can solve these questions. I have made a list of them. There are few chapters if you prepare, you can easily qualify this exam. So out of 120 questions, almost 37 to 40 questions will just be from the science, just from science. You don't have to be master of this paper because everyone will score bad in this. You don't have to be good in this. What you have to prepare is basic physics, basic chemistry, some part of political science. And I will be giving you the notes for that as well, which I prepared for basically. Why political science? Because it is very easy to prepare. You just need to know what are what does president do, what is what does prime minister do, uh, what does uh, the governor do, okay? what does uh, what what do you, chief audit auditor officer do. So, what is the powers of parliament? Who sanctions the budgets? What is RBI governor do? So every day, if you just study one one person, okay, I, RBI governor do this, 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 and then you can solve two to four to five political science question very easily. There is no need to prepare for history because one, first of all, there are only five to six questions and that also is not useful. You cannot solve those questions. There is no need to solve for geography, no ecology, environment, current affairs. You don't have to prepare separately, but yes, uh, some of the events you will be knowing. If, for example, who is the, who is, who is the uh, CEO of Tesla? So, it, you know, Elon Musk, that question was also there in this. So some basics will be there, but yes, uh, more or less you have to prepare for these three things or little bit of current affairs. Nothing else you can prepare or nothing else will help you. Okay. Otherwise you will just keep preparing for this one. Okay. You just need to so score 20 marks in this. I did not prepare anything, not even chemistry, not even chemistry. And I scored 27 marks out of hundred. Okay. Nothing. I prepared nothing absolutely zero because I had no time because I was doing my my messy and uh, that's all. No, no, no reasoning, no aptitude, nothing. It is general knowledge. No reasoning, nothing. Okay. It's basically the subject knowledge. Okay. So, yeah. So here do you see prepare for only general physics and general chemistry. You will almost get 35 to 40 questions. Okay. Some questions are from current affair and general awareness. You can also solve those questions. From, for example, you might have some general awareness in your life. You might have some general current affairs. Some, very few. I'm not expecting very much. If I ask you who, who of these won, for example, next year question I can tell you. One question will be on Olympics. Who won the Olympic silver medal in this field? That's all. This will be one of the questions. And I'm telling you in very advanced. Okay? So who won this year cricket? That. That's all. very simple. And they will not give you Indian names. They will give you some, okay, who won the gold medal in Olympics in tennis. So if you have heard the news, the, the Djokovic, I think, won that. And then that, I think, I'm not sure. But yeah, this kind of general awareness will be there. For that, we will prepare a little bit so that we are 
at least the topics that I know will be going to us. I will give you the quick notes for that so that you know the basic facts. Okay. That's all. Okay. So you only need to do 20 to 20 questions. Easily. If you, if you can easily do 30 questions, that's all. 30 questions will give you 20 to 22 marks and that's all. That is the done for this examination. Nothing more is required. Okay. Good score in paper one is 20 marks. If you, if you are able to score 20 marks, then you are above average, much, much above average. Okay. So that is a good score in this exam. Okay. So that is about the prelims paper one. You have two papers on that day. Okay. So here I have made some important topics for you for paper one. In basic physics, the question comes from here. EM waves, nuclear physics, mathematical physics, EMT, thermal optics, and current electricity. And luckily, all of these subjects are part of our actual syllabus as well. So we will anyway be studying this. In basic chemistry, you, you should study these topics. For example, periodic table. Then we have structure of atom. Acids and bases, metals, non-metals, coordinate compounds, chemical bonding, and atmospheric layers. That's that are the questions which are being asked from the basic chemistry. Okay. And I have done the entire paper analysis. And then I'm giving you this list. Okay. So if you prepare these seven chapters, and I will be giving you these seven chapters exactly in a very good form, then you can score easily 10 marks, 10 questions from chemistry as well. Okay. And yeah. So that was about the paper one of prelims. Now in the afternoon, after a one hour or two hours of break, we have a paper two, which is basically geophysics. And this is not only geophysics, but geophysics plus physics. It contains basically these subjects, which I'm trying to show you here. Number one subject is solid earth geophysics. This is pure geophysics, pure. This is pure geophysics. In this, you have basically some sections. Number one, solar system. All of us can prepare solar system. Not a big thing. Earth, shape, size, rotation. Right? I will give you the proper... Okay. And then we have the very, more, very, very important topic, which is seismology. The field of the physics is known as seismology. Okay. And that is here. Earthquakes, focal length, intensities, and all of the, those things you have to do. Okay. And that is also very, very, that is very important. Most of the questions are from there. How do you find the, for example, intensity of the earthquake? When earthquake comes, we say no, it is on the scale of seven, eight. That is a richer scale. What is a richer scale? And these kind of basics you should know. What are the different kind of earthquake waves? Love wave is there. Rayleigh wave is there. There are different different kinds of P wave, S wave is there. So that basics of geophysics you have to study. So this topic contains basically four different topics. Number one, solar system. Number two, gravity of earth. Number two, number three, magnetism, magnetism of earth. And the plan, uh, sorry, the plates and tectonic plates and all of that. And number four, seismology, or which basically involves earthquake and the things related to that. Yes, paper two is completely MCQ. Everything is MCQ. So this paper will contain 120 MCQ and it will have 300 marks. 120 MCQ and 300 marks. Okay. Good. Now. The second paper is like everything we know. Mathematical physics. Yes, you see, everything is we know. We know vector algebra, vector calculus. We, we will study this. Gauss divergence theorem. Uh, then we have some, some part new is here. This I will tell you how to do this. But you can see Newton's law of gravitation. Basically gravitation, electromagnetic, strong and weak forces, movement of inertia, basic theory of relativity. All of these things we can easily prepare. Here you can see numerical methods are here. Then we have probability here. Right. So all of these things can be easily studied by a physics student if they want to study. And by the way, if you are preparing for BIRC exam, this any way you will be studying this. Okay. Then third chapter, 
third chapter again completely from physics electromagnetism this anyway you will be studying for brs you will study this entire topic for brs nothing not even a single single word is different here complete electromagnetism you have to prepare then comes the new part and which i will be my expertise will help you here is geophysical prospecting this is half physics half geophysics how is it you can see you can read try to read that out the first line is from geophysics you see the principles data reduction and applications of gravity magnetic electrical and electromagnetic and well logging methods so these are the four methods that we have in geophysics number one method is gravity method magnetic method electrical method electromagnetic method and well logging method and this is also the part of your main syllabus but more or less uh, this is the main principles of geophysics how do you do the experiments in geophysics using these four or five techniques okay for prelims we will not study too much of detail in it i will just give you the short notes not the detail part of it. because in the detail part we will study for the mains exam once our prelims is done then we will study these techniques in much more detail right now i have some notes with myself and i will basically officiate those notes uh, type it out and then i will be sharing those ki what are the basics of and that is only asked in prelims ki which method is useful for this which method is useful for this how can you do this study how can you do that study and then you have to just choose statement 1 2 3 4 that's all and then these other than this four the more important techniques is seismic methods that is the most important seismic again earthquakes when the earthquake comes it's a it's a celebration for geophysicists the world is shaken world says oh ho oh, it's a bad event earthquake came but geo scientists start dancing oh wow earthquake came why because they get a lot of data from it and whenever you get a data coming from inside the earth they can they can conclude many things about inside the earth for example what is the density of the material inside and is that density same as the last density we calculated or something has changed so these kind of knowledge we come to know whenever any earthquake comes and then we compare it with the other earthquakes and then you see after some hours you the scientists say oh this this earthquake was not that strong but the destruction happened a lot so these kind of predictions happen okay in that part you have most of the physics for example fermat's law optics things snell's law uh, reflection and transmission coefficients these all things are basically from the physics point and then comes the last which is signal processing signals processing right in electronics you do that and this i will te teach you fourier transform laplace transform dirac delta functions unit step functions how do you find the how do you do data analysis so data analysis part is a very big part of this syllabus so this subject i say is half physics half geophysics you can at least prepare half of it very nicely 80% of it very nicely only problem for you is first line which i will give you the short notes for other than that there is no problem i will i will basically tell you for each and every subject how to prepare then comes the another physics subject which is remote sensing and thermodynamics in electromagnetic spectra radiation law planck's radiation wien's law laws of thermodynamic thermodynamics entire thing is physics only you you anyway you have to study this for brs and sixth subject is also physics nuclear physics and radiometry basic nuclear properties binding energy principles of radioactivity photoelectric effect pair production radioactivity gm counter everything is physics here so subject number 6 is physics subject number 5 is physics subject number 4 half of it is physics subject number 3 is physics subject number 2 is physics subject number 1 is geophysics so you see most of it is only physics only right very few part of it is geophysics and that also you have to prepare very smartly you don't have to study randomly okay and i will let you know how to study for this ठीक है बिफोर आई बिगिन फॉर द आई गो फॉर द मेंस बेसिकली फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन आई वांट टू गिव यू सम कट ऑफ एनालिसिस एंड दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट हियर बिकॉज़ बिफोर वी वी डिसाइड टू प्रिपेयर फॉर एग्जाम वी शुड नो दैट व्हाट इज द सिचुएशन ऑफ दिस एग्जाम फॉर एग्जांपल इन 2023 देयर वर 28 वैकेंसीज ठीक है एंड प्रीलिम्स कट ऑफ वाज ओनली 148 so out of 400 marks you only had to score 148 
so low cutoff that is why i was telling you that people are not giving this exam because in such easy syllabus anyone can score at least 200 marks but it is not as easy because even when i gave the exam i did also did not prepare for it very nicely okay but if you try to prepare for it it is very easy actually 148 marks was a prelims cut -off. then after 400 marks prelims there is 600 marks mains so 400 plus 600 is 1000 out of that 1000 the mains cutoff was 384 means total your mark should be 384 if you have 384 marks you are uh, qualified for interview okay and so out of 1000, you only need 384 marks, nothing more, only 384 in 2023. And then there is 200 marks of interview. And the final selection happened at 588, which is almost, almost 50%. Close to 50%. And in 2022, there were 51 vacancies. Although they did not give 51 vacancies, they cancelled 19 vacancies out of it. And this was the year when I gave the exam. When I gave the exam, they cancelled, I think, almost 19 or 17 vacancies for general category. And then they gave it next year. Okay. So they cancelled 19 vacancies and they did not give 51 vacancies. First of all, always remember this. In prelims, again, they have a cutoff of 149, then mains 429, and the final cutoff was 613. This year cutoff went higher, even though the number of vacancies were more. And that is what I was telling you. If the more people, more vacancies are there, more people will give the exam and cutoff will be higher. When the vacancies are less, the cutoffs are more or less lesser. Vacancies are less, cutoff is also less. This is also almost 50%. And then in 2021, there were only six vacancies. And now you see the magic. Now you see the magic. 161 people. Uh, 161 was a cutoff in pre, 386 was a cutoff in mains, and 564 was a cutoff final cutoff, which is the lowest in all of these three years. Lowest cutoff in all these years. So if you have scored 564 in 2022, you will not get the vacancy. But if you scored 564 in 2021, even though the vacancies are less, you will get a vacancy. Okay. And in 2024, there are three vacancies. Three. And this year also you will see the cutoff will be lower. Because not when the cut when the vacancies are low, people do not prepare. And whoever prepares get a good chance. Okay. So that is a kind of see from the data itself. You, you can have your own interpretation of the data. Okay. What is an ideal strategy for this exam? Ideal strategy should be that in your general general knowledge, you should get 30 marks out of 100. In paper two, which is geophysics, you should at least get 200 marks out of 300 because it is easy to score. It is easy to score. Okay. And then means in means, you see, in means you should you have three papers. Each paper is 200 marks. Means one, means two, means three. Total 600 marks. You should have at least a target of 125, 100, and 120. I'm not saying that in from a very, very vague point of view. I have scored close to this marks. Okay. And I, my preparation was very, very below average. Okay, below average, I would say, because at that time I did not have that time to prepare for it. But still, I was able to score more than 100 marks. So, 125 marks scoring is not that difficult because it's a physics papers. You do not get much negative marking here, like UPSC papers. You, they are not giving you full marks. They are giving you full marks. As long as your physics answers are correct, they will give you marks. Okay, and then there is 200 marks interview. You can you can have roughly 100 marks out of it. You cannot expect more than more marks in this. Okay. So that someone asked that, okay, the difference from here to here is more than 200. No, it does not mean that this only contains this. So see what happens is let's say they have to select 30 people for interview. They will call at least 90 people. Okay. So the final cutoff is decided based on combining all three cut stages. So this 588 is out of 1200. Okay. So th that is what happens. So 588 is out of 1200 people, 1200 marks, which was the cutoff. Okay. Yeah. So roughly, if you if you try to follow this pattern, you will almost score 680 marks, which is guaranteed selection in any of the year. In any year, you will get a selection in this marks. And even if you score less, 50 marks less, even then you will get a selection. Okay. 50, 60 marks less, also you will get a selection. 
I want to share my marks with you. You can judge me if you want, but uh, always remember I prepared this with my MSc. In prelims one, I had twenty seven marks. In prelims two, you see, I only had one twenty eight marks, and that is my mistake. That is my mistake. I did not give any mock test or anything, and I was not able to complete my paper. Even though I knew the questions, I was not able to complete my paper. And that is what I was thinking. If I would have tried to complete my paper. i can easily score 200 because there were questions were very easy i knew the questions then i had mains one mains one i almost scored 111 out of 200 in mains three also i almost scored 116 out of 200 in mains two i made a mistake again because i did not studied the geophysics of mains two at all at all and that was my mistake and uh, physics questions of mains two came difficult that year so that Hell, that dropped me, and that was my second mistake. Okay, so if I would have maintained the one hundred, one hundred marks in all the three exams, then I could have easily uh, go went through it. And in interview, I had almost eighty marks, which is on average because everyone was getting around seventy five, eighty, and ninety. Everyone was getting in that range. Even a very topper got one hundred eleven. Okay, so it was close to average, and my total marks was five hundred eleven. Okay, out of twelve hundred. so close enough but not that much. i'm i was still far away from the selection and uh, also some things helped 19 vacancies were cancelled that year and it was given next year okay so that kind of things can also happen so if i was and these marks these 511 marks are there with almost no preparation very very less preparation. and that is what i want to show you here because when i was giving this exam i was first of all i was in msc then i was in phd and uh, physics bar and everything was going on and then i was just giving this exam for the fun sake and i studied very less i made a very few notes of it and i tried to study in a very quick way and if with that how much only i am saying that you can almost go close to 500 above and you only need to add just 100 more marks to get selection that's all and 100 marks you can add anywhere you have a lot of opportunities here most of the marks can be added in prelims because prelims is the easiest stage theek hai and the best thing about this is ki every marks is getting added prelims mains so even one day is bad for you you can compensate in another day theek hai so every every stage is getting you marks for final selection theek hai i will just very quickly mention the subjects i will not go in details labels of mains because mains discussion will be much more useful after the prelims but basically mains exams are there are three exams uh geophysics 1 geophysics 2 and geophysics 3 each marks is each is 200 200 200 marks each paper is 3 3 hours and the paper is on 21 and 22 june the papers are on 21 and 22 june so in the next june you will have your mains paper in each paper there will be eight subjects each paper mains 1 2 3 you have total 24 subjects a lot of syllabus huge syllabus each paper 200 marks and each paper will have 10 questions and you only have to do six and each paper is divided into two parts part a and part b part a only contains geophysics four subjects of geophysics and part b contains four subjects of physics four four in each paper theek hai then each part will have five five questions five questions here five questions here first question is compulsory for both so question number 1 you have to do in this also question number 1 you have to do in this also then you are left with this four more questions out of those four do any two out of those four do any two so total 100 marks for physics 100 marks for geophysics and in the each paper this will happen so there will be 12 subjects for geophysics 12 subjects for physics 12 subjects for physics are basically you can see solid earth geophysics same as prelim syllabus earthquake seismology mathematical methods same thing you have already studied this and geophysical inversion and then in so paper 1 is basically about the basics of geophysics basic theory of geophysics paper 2 is about the experimental techniques of geophysics like gravity and magnetic method electric and electromagnetic method seismic methods bore hole method so about the methods of geophysics and the third is about the modern techniques of geophysics for example radiometry airborne geophysics 
in which atmosphere satellites all of them are involved marine geophysics underground geophysics uh, geophysics signal processing remote sensing and geohydrology these are the modern day geophysics so you have 12 subjects here uh, which are in geophysics and then 12 subjects in physics uh, mathematical physics electromagnetism electromagnetism 2 space and atmosphere classical mechanics thermo and statmac atomic physics nuclear physics solid state laser digital electronics and quantum mechanics so the very very extensive syllabus one thing which i know from this syllabus and which i believe and which i try to do in this course basically is whoever will prepare for this 12 physics exams with me or from yourself you have that nine one year of period in which you will transform into a physics person who has a full 360 degree knowledge in the branch of physics you know about mathematical physics you know about quantum mechanics you know about atomic physics so this is one exam which gives you an opportunity to turn that around let's say your bsc basics were not that good your msc was not that good or your class 11 12th was not that good now you have a chance to make your basics clear 110% become good in this 12 subjects and then you transform your career in that way okay yeah. so basically becoming good in physics that is the more important part here and then if you are good in you study this subject nicely questions are not that difficult you can solve the basically subjective questions are there so mains paper are written paper so you have a pen and paper and then you have to write your answers okay yeah. and uh, you get a marks for it that's all okay yeah. i will not go into the syllabus of it i have given you the headings and you can read the syllabus of it uh, the detailed syllabus what are the topics also involved theek okay? hai um, that i will not cover right now because this discussion will be much more useful when we are above the prelims theek okay? hai right now these are the things here theek okay? hai now uh, i want to announce the course here so if you wish to hear to it uh, stay tuned it will hardly take me 5 to 7 minutes to introduce the course now this is not a course this is a batch this is a officers trainee batch one year of batch and the only purpose of officers batch 2024 and 2025 is to bring out officers next year we want to give the officers and the conduct and the education level will be of that level ki okay next year the people get selected actually selected in the different different government organizations in bark and in upsc and they can qualify this exam and they their career is set in that okay so first thing that you will get from me in this course is lectures and these are completely new lectures and they are starting from tomorrow these are not live lectures these i will record every day and i will upload the recording every day now in these lectures what i have put forward is that zero complete zero i am starting from zero i mean what is let me explain from where i am starting i am starting from what is vectors what is dot product scalar product cross product how to do parallelogram theorem lemmis theorem class 11th and 12th basics then bringing it towards the bsc syllabus gradient divergence curl and then bringing it towards the spherical coordinate system cartesian coordinate cylindrical coordinate system then going for greens function part c of csi net so from that zero point i'm starting so that even if someone has no good basics of class 11th and 12th it helps and there are two reasons for it number one it will help students number two the exam is of easy level so they expect you to know those basics as well the most of the questions were from basics for example they were asking you what was the dot product that was a question in the geophysics prelims so that is that is the two purposes will be solved here. so you will get the lectures every day and uh, all the subjects i will be covering i will be covering all the physics subjects of upsc geophysics physics i will be covering mathematical physics electromagnetism geophysical prospecting almost 5 out of 6 subjects i will teach you then i will teach you all the 12 subjects of all the 12 subjects of mains which are from the physics point of view theek okay? hai and then these subjects which are the part of the jam and gate will also get covered so even if you are a part of a officers batch your preparation for net gate and just 
विल नॉट बी अफेक्टेड यू विल ऑल्सो बी लर्निंग फॉर दो सब्जेक्ट दो एग्जाम्स एज वेल ठीक है सो यू आर प्रिपरेशन फॉर दोज आर ऑल्सो है but the main idea is not to qualify net and gate yes you you will have you will understand the topic but main idea here is to become officers but you will if you will match the syllabus you will see the main syllabus and net and gate syllabus will get covered automatically we will be preparing for basically three exams brc exam gate exam and ups exam but the syllabus is designed in such a way that it is also helpful for net jam tfr and gate just and all of them. ठीक है, but the main idea is for these things. ठीक है, now every day you will get one hour of recording. One hour of recording means at least three to four lectures. Every lecture will be of fifteen to twenty minutes, short short lectures, short short lectures. Fifteen to twenty minutes of lecture will be there, and every lecture will contain one topic. And every day you will get one hour of recording, which you need to, you will take at it will take you at least ninety minutes or two hours to cover. One hour of recording will be there. ठीक है, there will be three to four or two to three lectures in this, and two subjects will be covered parallelly. So we will be covering two subjects parallelly. So you will be getting the lectures for two subjects, so that our syllabus runs in a good way. But every day you will just have to watch one hour of recording on a daily basis, and we will be tracking it out, and so that because that course design was done in such a way that a student can prepare for it, even if you are an MSc student and who have a very hectic schedule i was i was imagining myself while i was preparing for this if i am msc student and i want to prepare for it do i have the time to complete this so one hour of recording lectures i think everyone can watch whatever is your uh, strict schedule is there theek okay? hai uh, i will explain everything geophysics everything how we will do that i will explain let you know everything uh, then the lectures will be there five days a week on saturday and sunday we will have a live class Live class will be happening at seven to nine p.m. on every weekends. Now, why do we have this live class for interview preparation? From the very first week, we are having interview preparation. We are reading the standard books. I will be solving the questions of the Griffiths, quantum mechanics, uh, Jetley, and the various Arfkan and Weber's different different books, standard questions. What kind of questions can be asked? in an interview and how to design an answers for a questions what are the basics so interview preparation and pyqs discussion for example gate pyqs uh, and your pyqs of the prelims pyqs those pyqs will be there and also the standard books and interview preparation for that theek okay? hai the syllabus is starting from tomorrow basically we will start our syllabus from tomorrow 19th august and our syllabus will be done for sure by 5th january okay by 5th january we will our syllabus will be done from for prelims exam and for gate exam so you will get almost one month of period for revision so 6th jan to 15th feb is a revision for upsc prelims and for the gate physics exam so you will be revising we will be revising we will be giving the interviews oh sorry uh, mock test and all of that after that after that our mains preparation will start and our answer writing preparation will start means whatever are the subjects which are pending for mains which are not the part of pre but only the part of mains we will do that and we will also do the answer writing practice till the june month so live classes you are getting till june theek okay? hai and then in this period also you are also getting the mock interviews for bar because uh, bar is also coming up so mock interviews for bar interview preparation for bar ठीक है, so all of that will happen during this period as well. ठीक है, so how do we prepare for the the schedule is given in such a way. So parallelly we will be having two subjects. So I'm starting with mathematics and EMT because these are the two most important subjects. ठीक है, so uh, you can see uh, slot one, slot two. So every slot is of so every is of twenty eight days, four weeks. So in this two you will be getting lectures of two subjects. so in this way our syllabus will be completed and uh, till our 5th of jan so that is how we will you will have the lectures now many questions you might also be thinking how you will prepare for geophysics of course i am not a geophysics person so i will not be giving you the lectures of geophysics because me giving you the lectures of geophysics is like fooling you and uh, it's like first but i have some strategies for that is why we are working from last one 
every day you will be getting a pdf of four pages that's all four not more than that and that pdf is not like the correct okay just read this four pages every day three to four pages and they are only those topics which are important and which i studied two score marks because i almost scored one 111 out of 200 marks in mains I studied geophysics, but I studied it in a very limited way. I knew what is going to be asked in an exam. I had my analysis ki, okay, they are asking these questions and that will be asked to you as well. So in geophysics point of view, I will be giving you the daily PDF of four pages and you can just go to the course website and you can even take a demo of those uh, things. And these notes will be from the standard books. Some of the notes are my handwritten notes. Some of the notes are from my printed notes as well. So it's a mixed notes of many, many topics. Uh, in uh, Before giving you the notes, I am re-evaluating those notes. And also I am adding whatever is needed to be added here. So every day basis for geophysics, you will have to self-study them. But yes, in the live class, you are welcome to ask any doubts if you want. And I'm not uh, ensuring you that I will be able to answer every question of geophysics. But yes, at, at least I will try because I have qualified means I have some knowledge, but I'm not an expert. So um, I will be giving you the PDFs, but not teaching you as such. That is your self-study material will remain there. Now, what is beneficial here from these notes is that first of all, they are in a sequence. So if you pick up any geophysics book, the biggest problem that you will have is key in which way to study this book. First, which topic should be done and then which topic should be done. And I have already seen that struggle. So that struggle is solved for you and the notes are given in the right sequence and the notes are given only those notes which are important for UPSC. Not any other, any, and not, we are not studying entire book. We are only doing the important things. Take a, on average, every day you have to study four pages. But other than the notes, you will have assignments. Well. You will have topic wise physics assignments. You will have topic wise geophysics assignments. So whatever you have studied, you will have something to practice. Okay, if you have studied uh, about the seismic waves, you will have an assignment to practice seismic waves. You will have studied uh, vector cell jabra and vector calculus. You will have an assignment to practice vector jabra and vector calculus. All these assignments will be discussed in the live classes. And then the questions are of exactly of the exam level. They are of the same difficulty level, which you need to know. Conceptually confusing, but numerically they are easy to solve. Okay. So that is a kind of questions which are there. So you will be getting assignments for all the exams. Mains, UPSC mains, uh, UPSC prelims, bark and gate. So all of these assignments which will be available. Okay. And then mock test we have. We have subject by mock test for UPSC prelims. For UPSC prelims, I will give you five subject wise tests. I will give you gate physics five subject wise tests. UPSC prelims and uh, sorry, uh, full. Now it is full mock test. Then we will have full 5 5 test. So, total 25 tests you will have. 10 of them are subject wise test and 15 of them are full test. So, we are basically focusing on the three different subjects, three different exams prelims, gate, and bark. UPSC prelims, gate physics, and BARs. Okay. So, this is our main goal. How do we qualify these three exams and get our uh, interview selection and then we crack our interview and qualify this. Okay. After our prelims is done, you will have a full fledged of UPSC mains answer writing practice. In this, I will be solving the answers. I will be giving you the ways to write answer because let me tell you one thing very honestly. I scored 111, but I only attempted 130. My attempt in a paper was 130. So my answer writing was on point. And that happened because of my previous answer writing practices, which I have done during BSc class 11, 12th and so on. So I will be mentioning you how I wrote the answer in actual UPS exam that I almost got more than 80% of what I wrote. Okay. And that is the most important part because you don't know all the questions, but whatever questions you write, you should get full marks for that. Okay. And you can ask anyone scoring 111, 12 marks out of 130 is not easy in UPSC. They deduct the marks. Even something is wrong. Okay. You have to have proper diagrams. You need to have proper formulas, proper calculations and all of that. So we will have proper full answer writing, but that will happen after prelims, not before prelims, because that is a waste of time. Okay. Because someone who don't qualify prelims, why would they do go for inter answer writing? 
and then we have full interview preparation live classes every weekend standard books articles and questions one to one mock interview i will take i have given more than 30 interviews in my life now it is even more 35 interviews so based on that experience i will be taking your mock interviews one to one interview uh, whoever qualifies for interview will be going through mock interviews through me i will be there take so that it boost their confidence they know that how they react in an actual interview it's not like that ki they don't know we will have online more one to one interview and they will know that when the question comes how their body reacts how their brain reacts and this will happen much before the actual interview so that you have enough time to fix yourself or prepare more other than that i have one person with me who will be preparing weekly general knowledge capsules for you general knowledge capsule means political science basic chemistry basic physics all of this and they will be giving you weekly pdf which you can study which will help you theek okay? hai uh which will help you and uh, that you will learn theek okay? hai weekly pdf will have seven to eight pages and two to three topics these are not designed by me this is designed by a person who is actually expert in this all this branch who already is preparing for upsc himself for civil services examination and he has also worked in magazines so he will be providing us this pdfs and it will be helping us theek okay? hai so this is uh, basically the idea theek okay? hai so how much i expect from you all so our your day will be divided in two days so you are an officer trainee and your day will be divided your week will be divided in two categories one is a week days during the week days you will have uh, watching recorded classes you have to watch two hours because one hour of the class i will be giving it will take you one hour more to make the notes and all of that then reading the geophysics material whatever is given to you on the daily basis one hour you need for that and one hour you need for assignment solving so daily four hours you need to give if you want to do good and on the weekends also you have to attend two hours of live class one hours of general aptitude reading which will be given to you and one hour of any pending homework and so on so four hours on weekend also so you need to give four hour daily for next 350 days which is almost almost 1400 to 1500 hours if you look into it for one year and that one year i promise you it will transform you but you have to give me that much period not me but to the content to the physics you have to give that much period to the physics theek okay? hai and this is how your day will be divided into the different categories if you want if you want to prepare for net and gate also you can add some extra hours for it and uh, you can do the pyqs and so on for yourself that is an extra thing important information will be the course will be available on both app and website and uh, the app name is physics bar and website name is physics bar and dot com a dedicated academic manager will be there for you rajiv is there to help you out for everything for as as long as any ad- academic issues are there course fees will be 10000 rupees as such for this full course but for this entire week we will have 25% off so that is for to be the trainees coming with us so 25% direct off no condition 2500 will be directly gone out you have to just use the code so just use the code officer so code name is officer so whenever you try to buy the course don't buy it directly just use the code officer and this is strictly only available till 25 august means till next sunday it is applicable and you can apply the code and you can directly get in and you will get 2500 directly off you can get the course at 7500 which i don't think anyone can provide at this cost uh 12 subjects of physics no one will teach you in 7500 that is my guarantee for you uh course cannot be reduced beyond this because it is almost one year of live classes uh interview preparation is there and so much effort is there which you have seen in this so almost this mi- this will be the minimum course we have designed for you after 25 hours if you try to join it out uh, then you will have to pay the co- fees of 10000 uh, because the code will expire on 25 august code course will be valid till january 2026 not this january but next january till your upsc interview happens okay live classes will be there till june means next june after that you won't have any live class because your mains exam will be done your prelims will be done only thing that will be left is interview so for that we will have mock interviews afterwards but live classes will be there till june means this august to next june you will have live classes then you will have the entire recorded session with you you can watch any time you want you can prepare any time you want theek okay? hai 
and uh, that is there and uh, this is the entire thing for you or if you want to join join now tomorrow we are starting with our first day and there are already i think uh, six students pre booked already the course they were they messaged me so be quick and then we can start our preparation and let's begin the journey of one year of being an officer right now i will just take your questions whatever you have and uh, yeah i think there are many questions